uh, the Nevada Hall of Fame. A uh, number of, I mean, legendary fighters this weekend uh, were inducted into the Nevada Boxing Hall of Fame. So a lot of great fighters, you know, it's Las Vegas. It was lit. And in the process, uh, Floyd Mayweather uh, showed up for the Nevada Boxing Hall of Fame. And while he was there, uh, briefly, Paul Spadafora, um, uh, you know, called him out and it was talking to him. Now, not quite sure exactly um, what the tenor of it was. If, if Spad, Spaddy was being polite and he was just waiting for Floyd to take a picture and then step at the side and talk with him. Or he was just trying to greet him. I'm not too sure what he was trying to do. But Blue Blood Sports TV, you know, he came back came in and did an announcement talking about it like a versus thing and like they were staring down each other or something like that. I didn't see that. But it does beg the question. What would a exhibition fight between Floyd and Paul Spatter for look like? I mean that, I mean yeah, Spatty's way past his, well he's past his best, you know what I mean, and Floyd, but what, but Floyd's way past his best too, you know what I mean? So, uh, you know, Spaddy's 46, Floyd's 45. That would be an interesting fight. I'm not going to lie. That would be an interesting exhibition fight. Um, but, of course, you know, mainstream don't know who Paul Spatter for is. You know what I mean? But that's actually an interesting fight because, I mean, Spatter for, he still could he still could do it. You know what I mean? Not at the highest level, but he could still do it. You know what I mean? And, and Floyd... You know, the knowledge between them two is uh, like ridiculous, you know what I mean? I would love to see that. I would love to see an exhibition, but I don't know how feasible that would be uh, between Spider 4 and Mayweather um, if they would want to make that happen, if Floyd would want to make that happen. That would be, though, something I would love to see uh, because they're both skill fighters. Spider 4 is a southpaw, Floyd's an orthodox fighter. And I know that fight would be somewhat competitive, you know? And so... Uh, just for the sake of running it, to say, you know what, this is a guy I always wanted to face, let's do it. But who would put up money for that, you know what I mean? Who would pay the fighters to have that exhibition, that's the question. But that that's something I would love to see, just because of the skills involved in the boxing IQ of both guys, I would love to see that. I think Floyd would, I think Floyd's way, I mean his boxing IQ, I mean Paul Spadafore has an incredible boxing IQ, let me not... I can't, I can't down Paul, you know, uh, his trainer was, um, you know, um, trained Roger on Jr. and stuff, and he, he does boxing videos on YouTube all the time, right, so, 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 um, for me to, to, to you know, down Paul Spatter for his knowledge, or down Paul Spatter for in any way, it's, it's just not fair, um, you know, do I think he could be, uh, you know, could put up a good competitive fight with Floyd, absolutely, do I think that uh, he's a better fighter than Floyd? No. But, you know, that's a that's a fight that I would love to see because both guys, um, and, and the sparring session was, was really good because, you know, Floyd wasn't really training in between. You know, he basically, he could have gone only six rounds. He went six rounds with, with Spatter 4, and then his father pulled him from the sparring session, which is, that's typical of sparring, though. You know, typical of sparring sessions, guys go to get work, and Floyd got some good work. I'm of course, Spatterford was at his peak. He was doing his thing to get him ready for a fight. So, um, But just based on that sparring, man, that would be something fun to see. Both both guys do it, you know, do what they do. You know, semblances of themselves in, in different spots and parts. And, you know, Sp Spatterford has that kind of boxing IQ where he could, you know, I'm sure he could kind of do do a little something, something. Show, show Floyd something, at least, you know, make it somewhat competitive, you know. Um, so, and that's, that's all you want, really. You just want to see, you know, uh, a little bit, you know, something, something, something somewhat competitive for exhibition, you know, um, but, uh, I would love to see that. I would love to see that matchup. I can't, I can't tell you how much I would give to see that matchup. You know, there's, there's, there's certain fights that not possible because guys from different generations, like Sugar Ray Leonard versus Floyd Mayweather or, uh, you know, uh, Smash the like button if you're coming through here. Uh, or, you know, um, you know, Mayweather versus Sugar Ray Robinson. Or Mayweather versus Thomas the Hitman Hearns. Or Mayweather versus, you know, uh, Aaron Pryor. Or Mayweather versus Roberto Duran. But them guys way too old. 
you know, you could still get something going with an exhibition fight between Mayweather and, say, a Spadafora. And Spadafora right now is in the Las Vegas area. That's a doable fight. Um, another fight that 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 could happen is Sergio uh, Martinez versus Floyd Mayweather. Uh, if Martinez can make 154, well, it doesn't really matter. Um, that's another fight where you know Martinez is actually active. So, <laughs> but he's old as hell. I mean, Martinez is almost 50 years old. Um, I would love to see that. Um, you know, Eris Landy Lara, he's still active, but, you know, uh, uh, exhibition between Eris Landy Lara and Floyd Mayweather, I would love to see that. You know, fights where people say, well, he ducked this guy, or he ducked that guy. Well, let's have an exhibition then. We're going to have an exhibition. You know, that's how the old timers used to do it. Back in the day, you know, guys who you probably never faced or, or guys in your career while you're fighting, you didn't have the opportunity to fight, you fight them in exhibitions. You know what I mean? So, I would love to see that. I mean, um, who did say to Chavez? He wanted to fight Floyd, but you got to understand, Chavez, you too old, bro. You old. You don't want Floyd, you know, breaking your hip or something shit like that. And then, no, and you done already an icon? What, 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 no, come on, dude. But, you know, I would, I would love to see those kinds of exhibitions, if they're going to be exhibitions with Floyd. I would love to see that. You know, those are mouth-watering exhibitions, you know, because those guys, Sergio Martinez, Southpaw as well, you know, um, you know, difficult, elusive footwork and all that. Paul Spadafora, he don't move too much, but he's still elusive. You know, got that D. I would love to see that. You know, Spadafora, to me, is one of the, I think he would be one of the better guys. You know, it's kind of like when you saw Zab Judah versus, versus Floyd, you know, uh, Spadafora is not as fast as Zab. You know, he's not as quick as Zab. He, I think he, he's, you know, he got, he got, he got decent defense. Zab was much more aggressively minded. Spadafora was much more defensively minded. So he was much more, um, uh, I would say, uh, a lot more uh, defensively sound than Zab. Even though Zab's pretty sharp defensively as well. Um, but Zab, but Spadafora would be in the pocket. He would stay in the pocket with Floyd, you know. And, and that would be a fun fight, you know. Whereas Sergio Martinez would move a lot more. Floyd would have to go get him. Uh, Spadafora would be in the pocket. That's a good fight. That's a that, Spadafora always orders for you know action pack fights. You know Spadafora gonna be throwing shots. Um, he, he he's um, he don't he don't have tremendous power, but he got some pop. Um, and so I would love to see that. I would love to see that. I know that would be an interesting fight, and of course uh, Spadafora would get you know some money for that. So you get a payday on top of that, hopefully, you know, and, and people will come to see that fight. But that's that's actually a good matchup. That's a very good matchup. Now, <laughs> having said that, Floyd can make guys like that look. He can he can make a really exceptionally good or solid fighter look stupid, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, that but but, but nonetheless. Um, Nonetheless, uh, Floyd is, you know, that would be a good fight for Floyd. Uh, you know, I was thinking, you know, some, you know, people are coming to see Floyd from here on in. So it doesn't really matter who he faces, right? Exhibitions, it don't matter who he faces. He can, he can face a volleyball player. It doesn't really matter. But here's the thing. People come to see him in the ring. That's what they come to see. But it's a plus when you get a guy from his era, a contemporary of his, you know, even Jose Luis Castillo. I saw Jose Luis Castillo when it was it. I can't remember when. You know, and well, he's old now, but you know, Castillo versus Floyd three. You know what I mean? Um, Ricky Hatton versus Floyd. You know, Ricky Hatton's supposed to face um, Marco Antonio Barrera later on this year. Uh, Ricky Hatton versus Floyd as an exhibition. You know, um, but I prefer to see guys that Floyd didn't face before uh, in the ring with him. There's a couple guys that he he didn't face before. Some of them are bigger than him. Um, but, you know, guys like, um, we can't face Paul Williams no more, sadly. Um, but I would love to see Floyd in the ring with guys like, um, how, how possible that'd be? I don't know. But guys in the ring like, uh, you know, even, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put him, in, I'd never put Floyd in the ring with Marco Antonio, uh, uh, with, uh, Antonio Margarito. Just because he cheated, um, he never get the opportunity to face Floyd. You know, Floyd... You know, here's what I would say. But Floyd might just do the opposite of what I just said. But I don't believe that you should be rewarded for cheating. I don't think you should be rewarded for cheating in boxing. Manny Pacquiao versus Floyd. That's an exhibition that could happen. 
Um, American versus Floyd as an exhibition, that could happen. But the thing with American, he lies so much. He lies too much, and that's that's the thing. So I don't think Floyd would ever face uh, American, which is sad because American, you know, I mean, he got some speed. You know what I mean? He's got decent boxing pedigree, decent boxing skills. You know what I mean? He's fast. You know, I would have loved to see that as an exhibition. You know, and that would probably make a Mirkan's day, but you, you lie too much and you, you talk too much. So you probably never gonna get that fight. But that that would be that would be a fun exhibition to have. Um Timothy Bradley versus Floyd Mayweather. Timothy Bradley's out of shape though. Timothy Bradley's out of shape. So these are some of the guys that were around but they never faced Floyd. You know who else is a is a, is a decent guy? Uh, um what's his name? Sean Porter faced him, Timothy Bradley faced him. You know who else? Junior Witter versus Floyd Mayweather. But Junior Witter is so big now. He out of shape, too. Uh, let me see. What else we got? A couple guys Floyd didn't face. Um, so there was Amir Khan. Uh, there was uh, there was Paul Spadafora. Joel Casamayor. But Joel Casamayor, he ain't not really in shape. But that would be nice to see Casamayor get himself in shape. And, and do an exhibition with Floyd, you know, Casimir. Um, they talk about Eric Morales getting in the ring with Floyd. I don't know about that one. Barrera getting in the ring with Floyd, maybe if you want. <laughs> um, who else we got? Marquez versus Floyd, probably two, if Marquez wanted. Um, Cotto versus Floyd, two. Cotto don't want it. Cotto not. Cotto not in the boxing. He in shape, but he he not really in boxing. He done with that. But that would be nice. Um, who else we got? Mm, that's about it, really. It was Lara. Lara had called out Floyd, but Floyd already had Maidana. We had American wanted Floyd. Um, Sergio Martinez wanted Floyd. And called him out. Uh, Paul Spatterford never called out Floyd, but he always wanted to face Floyd. So that's why I mentioned him. Joel Casimiro, I would have loved to see Floyd against Casimiro or Asselino Freitas. Um, Prince Nassim Ahmed's too fat, <laughs> so that ain't never going to happen. But Ricky Hatton's in shape. He's in shape. Yeah, I know a Ricky Hatton, a Floyd Hatton, too, would be great as an exhibition. And probably redemptive for Hatton, too. You got Pacquiao on the side. Pacquiao, I don't know what Pacquiao's doing these days. But, you know, those, those, those are some of the guys you can line up exhibitions. Who well uh, Sergio Martinez? He's still boxing. He's still doing pro boxing. So, but he on the he's on the tail end of his career. So, you know, I don't think he's gonna ever win a world championship or anything like that anymore. So, you know, Sergio Martinez, as he's at the end of the gate, it'll be nice. You know, Floyd send him a blind. You know, have him fight him. You know what I mean? And Martinez be fighting though. You know, but still, still, it, it, you know, um, it'd be nice because Martinez' tools is mainly his feet. You know what I'm saying? He move around the ring a little. That still would be nice to see Floyd versus Martinez. You know, so that Martinez could say, you know what, I faced I faced the legend. I can tell you what it's like. You know what I mean? Um, so that's what I'm talking about. I, like, you know, Floyd basically faced everybody, but still, these are the guys that kind of outstanding. The only one who I think Floyd should never face, and just based on principle, just based on the fact that he cheated, is Antonio Margarito. It's not that he fears Margarito or anything, but it's just that he cheated. You cheated against Cotto. You know what I mean? You cheated, man. Floyd should never give you a shot. You know? It would be nice with, to see Margarito versus Floyd, but no. No, you cheated. You know? So never get a shot. He should never face him. You know? Just for that. Uh, but other than that, all the other guys would be nice. I mean, Sergio Martinez, he brings, you know, he brings a little trickiness and a little bit of you know, movement and stuff to the table, you know, South Paul and everything, you know, uh, Paul Spatafora, he's much more slicker than Sergio Martinez, in my opinion, because he's standing right in front of you, and you, you can't hit him like that, he'd be blocking and rolling and riding shots and stuff like that, um, uh, of course, like I said before, uh, Eris Landy Lara, oh, that's a good one, that's a good one, Cuban School of Boxing, slick, that would be nice, but Eris Landy Lara hasn't retired either, so him, him and Sergio Martinez, they haven't retired, but that would be a nice you little nice little something down the road there. You know, that that's a good little matchup right there. Because Lara's long, Martinez is long. They use their reach. 
when they want to fight on the outside. They're very intelligent boxers. I would, actually, Sergio Martinez versus Eric Sandy Lara never happened. I would love to see those two fight each other. You know what I mean? Now I think about it. Yeah, Sergio Martinez versus Eric Sandy Lara. I love to see that. Two south paws and everything. You know what I mean? Um, who else? That's about it. I mean, Winky Wright's not in shape, so we can never see Floyd versus Winky Wright. Unless Winky Wright is like, screw it. Yeah, it's an exhibition. Oh, shit. And because exhibitions, you don't have to come in on weight or none of that shit. <laughs> Winky Wright might jump at it. He might jump at it and get himself in shape. <laughs> That's paper, baby. That's a couple mil right there. Um, Winky Wright be, oh, shit. I'm going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's what I'm saying like Floyd if Floyd want to do exhibitions for the rest of his life like he has people like he has people in boxing he could face and he has people outside of boxing you know who else I think Floyd always wanted to face this guy he always wanted to face Felix Trinidad you know uh, if Felix Trinidad is up to it that would be a nice exhibition as well Felix Trinidad is just a if Floyd Floyd was now coming in when Felix Trinidad was, was leaving you know he was just on his way out of the game, but um, I love to see that he got he got Oscar he got Oscar Floyd got Oscar that was the only one him and Shane Mosley well Mosley was kind of like an afterthought but Oscar was the one Floyd was shooting for Felix Trinidad or Winky Wright those guys were kind of almost done with their careers when Floyd was coming up on the scene you know what I mean and um, but Felix Trinidad versus Floyd Mayweather just as a again um these guys you know Felix Trinidad is what fifty something years old now. Uh, or close to 50, so, you know, Felix Trinidad is, you know, a lot older than Floyd Mayweather, um, but I would love to see that, you know, I don't think Felix Trinidad would, wants to box anymore, so, maybe he'd do it as an exhibition, who knows, Exhib that's the nice thing about exhibitions, exhibitions, you don't have to train your ass off like that, you know, it's not like a real title fight or something, so, you can get yourself into reasonable shape, Make sure you can box and stuff and, 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 and go and do exhibition. Eric Morales just did an exhibition with Mikey Garcia. So you can do exhibitions, you know what I mean? Because uh, Floyd would like to hype it up a little bit. But then when you got people coming to see Floyd or they come in, just imagine Floyd versus Tito as an exhibition. Or Floyd versus, how could I forget him? Oscar De La Hoya. Um, I overlooked Oscar De La Hoya. My God. Floyd versus Oscar De La Hoya too would, would, as an exhibition would kill it. It would kill it. Because Oscar's a big name, Floyd's a big name. That 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 that, that that's Floyd versus Pacquiao too would kill it. That, as an exhibition, that that just that makes money. <laughs> no if or buts. And Pacquiao's a guy; he only go at hundred miles an hour. So no matter what, exhibition, no exhibition, Pacquiao's gonna bring it. <laughs> you can be guaranteed of that. Um, so um, ultimately, what I'm saying is that um, you know those two Floyd got those two trump cards. In the back pocket anytime he wants. You know what I mean? Uh, but Felix Trinidad, I would love to see that. Floyd versus Felix Trinidad. I'm sure Felix Trinidad, he still got his pop. He got his power. Probably be a little sluggish, slow. He probably big too. So those things worked against him. Floyd's a gym rat. He's always in the gym. Uh, always training. Always training. So, you know. Um, but, you know, I'm just saying. I mean, you don't want it to be too taxing. Paul Spatter is a perfect guy for exhibition with Floyd. Perfect. I mean, you can't get better than that. Spadafore is like the perfect guy to face Floyd Mayweather. He's got just enough defense, so he's not easy to hit. He don't really go nowhere. He's right there in front of you, you know. Um, and on top of that, he's southpaw, so he's coming from different angles and stuff. And he's tricky, you know what I mean? So I would love to see that. For Floyd versus Paul Spadafore? Yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. You know, he doesn't have the biggest thump in the world either, so... I mean that all of that would just that makes for a good exhibition fight. Makes for and Floyd doesn't have the biggest stump in the world either. I think Floyd's a little bigger than Paul though. I think uh, size wise, Floyd fought much bigger guys than Paul Spatterfore has. But they can always prep for that, and that would be a hell of a fight. That'd be a hell of a fight. hell of an exhibition as well. But think about it is not a lot of people know who Paul Spatterfore is, but they got beef, they got passed, so it would make for a very interesting exhibition. You know. Um, but, you know, I, we all know Floyd probably would, you know, dominate. Not completely, though. He wouldn't dominate like how he did uh, Moore. I don't think Don Moore, I don't think he dominates bad for like that. But, you know, who knows? Who knows? You might see a brilliant performance from Floyd. Because Floyd's, 
Now he's just having fun. He's just going to the ring and having fun now and making money. <laughs> Which is, I, I don't blame him. You know what I mean? But that, Paul Spatterford versus Floyd Mayweather, that's a fight I would love to see. I would love to see it. Um, I can't think of anybody else. It's it's Spatty. Um, I would love to see that fight. I'm telling you, man. I would love to see Floyd versus Spatty. Um, Spatterford versus Floyd. Sergio Martinez versus Floyd. Uh, Arison Andy Lara versus Floyd. Those, those, those are tough fights, by the way, for exhibitions. They, they really are. Those guys are skilled. And knowledgeable. Uh, and they fight in a style that's difficult to, to beat. So I would love to see all three of those guys go against. They're slightly different. Arislan Lara, he can do, he's versatile. He can fight in the pocket and he can fight on the outside. Sergio Martinez, he's more an outside fighter. He uses his feet a lot. Okay. Uh, the toughest of them all is going to be Arislan Lara. Arislan Lara, because he's bigger, he's longer, uh, he's smart. Cuban school of boxing. You know, he'll be the toughest of them. Uh, and he's probably younger than Floyd as well. You know, Sergio Martinez is older than Floyd. Um, Paul Spider for his perfect age. He's just about a year apart from Floyd. You know, um, but them them guys is tough. Them them guys is tough fights all the way through because they're thinking fighters. So you have to kind of not tough for Floyd probably, but tough the tougher fighters. You know what I mean? And that's the thing. Now, I don't know if Floyd wants to do that in an exhibition. If he wants to go with such a tough... You know, he probably could get a bigger name than them them guys and, and make much more money, you know. But the easiest of them all is Pacquiao. Pacquiao, all of them are southpaws, by the way. Pacquiao, Pacquiao, Sergio Martinez, and uh, uh, and uh, Arislan Dilar are all southpaws. But they're quality southpaws. We're talking, you know, great southpaws, okay? But the most difficult of them all, I think, is Arislan Dilara. Because he's younger than Floyd, he's very versatile, very skilled. Um, he can stay in the pocket and bang with you, or he can box you from the outside and move around the ring, right? He's 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 the one. Uh, Sergio Martinez uses his feet a lot, shift position. I me being a southpaw, he works the southpaw angles, but he, he works mainly certain types of southpaw angles. He doesn't use the wide ver variety and array of leads. All right, and he's not a switch hitter or anything like that. So um, he's probably the next toughest one, and then Pacquiao's probably the least toughest of them because Pacquiao works with a system. And, and Pacquiao's more versatile than Sergio Martinez, but because he's so short, he has to get into range, mid-range. It kind of takes away from the, you know, the fight game. But, um, so it's, but all of them are tough fights for exhibition. As an exhibition, they're tough fights, which is what makes it fun. I don't know if Floyd would want to do that, but they all have their slickness to them, you know what I mean? And elusiveness, and that's that's the cool thing. And they all kind of like, would have been, Paul Spider 4 would have been an A-plus fighter. But, you know, you know, battle with drugs and stuff. But I really would hope, in my heart of hearts, that somehow, some way, a fight between Paul Spider 4 and Floyd Mayweather, that would make my day, actually. Just that they're sharing the ring together with each other would be... Uh, just an awesome experience. And besides that, Paul Spider 4 would he'd have so much more knowledge after facing Floyd, exhibition or not. He, he, you see how slick and so skilled he is. I mean, he sparred him, but sparring is not the same thing as like doing an exhibition or or something else, you know. So, um, where both guys are prepared and they're coming to each other, you know what I mean? Um, I would love to see that. I would love to see that. And, and, just for Paul Spider for sake and Floyd's sake, you know, I would love to see that. That would be a nice closure and everything. Um, uh, yeah. So, if you ask me, what fight would I be interested in an exhibition? Paul versus Paul Spider for versus Floyd Mayweather would be up there. I think uh, Pacquiao versus Floyd two would be fun to watch because Pacquiao is an action-packed fighter. But when you're talking about skill, skill now, skill fight. Spatterford versus Floyd. That's a skill fight. Um, um, Sergio Martinez versus Floyd. That's a tactical fight. Sergio Martinez has skills and stuff, but I, th I think Floyd tactically uh, is just way above Sergio Martinez in terms of versatility and options and all of that stuff, right? With Paul, with Paul Spatterford, it's, it's tricky because Spatterford is quite versatile. He's quite skilled, okay? Um... Didn't face the level of competition Floyd faced in his career, so he doesn't have that kind of experience, but he does have championship experience. 
Um, and, you know, the potential with Paul Spider for is, is quite high. Um, he's an excellent fighter. Uh, I mean, but, I mean, Floyd's like the magic man. He can do all kinds of things. So, but I would love to see it still. I would love to see it. You know, Spadford is very consistent. Um, he's tricky himself in how he approaches opponents and does little tricks. He has little tricks up his sleeve as well. Uh, but the, the the guy, the guy who, the toughest, I think the toughest opponent Floyd would would fight in an exhibition, if he was to fight in an exhibition, would be Eris Landy Lara. Of all the southpaws, he's the king of it. Um, again, limited in certain respects. Um, I think, uh, again, Floyd probably would you know, we, we would show that he's the, the superior fighter. But what I'm saying, though, is that Eric Sandy Law brings a lot to the table. He can do a lot of different things, and he's a thinking fighter. So I think because of that, you know, I would love to have seen Floyd versus Eric Sandy Law. So those are the guys that Floyd didn't really face. The other guys are just too old, like, you know, Tito or uh, Winky Wright. You know, unless Winky Wright rules me wrong and says, hey, don't rob me a payday. Shit, I'll take on Floyd. I can fight till I'm 60 with the style I have. You know, everyone get right want to say that. You know what I mean? But, um, you know, I would have liked to see Floyd versus Winky right now because Floyd, you know, he's not, he's a little bit bigger than he used to be. You know, the time when they were supposed to face each other, Floyd was coming up from 140 pounds to 154. Winky Wright was coming down from 160 to 154. I think it was supposed to be something like that. And, um, you know, Floyd Floyd being, you know, the powerful power number one fighter in the world, you know, he's building his name, building his resume. He wanted more money because he was jumping up two weight classes and you know, he was the powerful power dude, you know what I mean? Winky Wright had a good win against Felix Trinidad, but you know, Floyd showing he could dominate, he dominated Turo Gatti, you know. So that was the the situation. But yeah, you, you know, guys, this, this is my thing. My thing is this, right? And I, Floyd don't have to do this, but I'm just saying. My thing is this. People allege, oh, he ducked Rinky Wright. People allege, oh, he ducked Eris Landy Lara. People allege, oh, he ducked Sergio Martin, Martinez. Oh, people allege, oh, he ducked Custazu. Oh, people allege, oh, he ducked, uh, 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 what's his name? Uh, 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 Paul Spadafore, right? Okay. So you say you claim that Floyd ducked these guys. I'm not saying he did. But what happens if he faces them in exhibitions? So that they can at least say they faced him. You know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Uh, and they're good fighters. So why not? Why not do an exhibition with them? Now, when it comes to money and dollars and cents, it's not necessarily the biggest money-making things. Now, people are going to come out and see Floyd regardless. You see how much respect people have for Floyd in the Nevada Bucks and Hall of Fame. You know, he was in Canada, uh, and and he got a lot of respect and a lot of love from people around him. You know, so so Floyd gets a lot of love. But what I'm saying is, people would come to see Floyd fight. All right, he's he's the major attraction. If you say Floyd Mayweather, that's dollar signs right there. Make it rain, baby. Make it rain. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> he's an attraction. It's what it is. Um, Mike Tyson. You say Mike Tyson. Dollar sign, dollar, dollar, dollar sign, dollar, 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 dollar sign. I don't know what's going on with Mike. I hope he's okay. But, um, so there's certain fighters that it's not just their careers, it's their persona, it's it's who they are that makes them such big stars, right? And Floyd's absolutely respected in the industry. He's highly respected. So if Floyd goes, you know, if Floyd does an exhibition, he's going to get people, people are going to come to see him, people are going to pay mad amounts of money to see him, okay? It's what it is. He's going to make his millions. The question is, is he willing, is he, is, he, is he more interested in making the most amount of money or is he interested in just humor? Because money, I mean, he's going to make money nonetheless. He's going to make millions. The question is, is he, is he, is he, interested in just just because of curiosity or otherwise of having some of these guys you know face some of these guys he know he could beat all of them but i'm just saying just face some of them give them probably an opportunity to make some dollars or something like that because you know he, floyd personally loves boxes you know with uh with with um with don moore there dangerous don moore he made him he got some paycheck my boy got a paycheck okay he got his ass beat but he, he got paycheck okay and i don't know if floyd want to show some love to 
some other guys. I mean, they're not family or nothing, you know what I mean? But I don't know. I mean, Sergio Martinez has always been, you know, uh, a stand-up guy. I would love to see that. I mean, Sergio Martinez is still fighting. But, you know, if you, I mean, a paycheck from Sergio Martinez, paycheck for Eris Landy Lara, my dude. So I would love to see a paycheck for Eris Landy Lara. You know what I mean? This dude, this dude, you know, paid his dues in boxing. He would be a nice test for Floyd because he's long, he's rangy. He, he's also could collapse himself and fight on the inside. I would love to see how that fight turns out, the exhibition. I would love to. I just would love to see it. I would love to see a fight like that. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if they can hook up. I don't know if they can make it happen, but that would be great. Um, Spadafora, of course. Like I said before, I, I don't want to see no American fight. I don't want to see no uh, Margarito fight. And it has nothing to do with the threat of American or the threat of a Margarito. It just happens that American, he, he, he talks through his ass and he lies too much. So he's a bad businessman. And then Margarito is a cheater. I, I don't want to see no cheater face nobody. I don't want to see, Margarito shouldn't have another fight. He, nobody should ever face Margarito ever again. Because he, he, he cheated against Cotto. He shouldn't ever have been rewarded with facing Pacquiao. Pacquiao should have never faced him. All right, he, he he's a cheater, you know what I mean. Uh, but um, it is what it is, you know. One of my favorite fighters is Mark Two Sharp Johnson. Mark Two Sharp Johnson, excellent little flyweight. Love that guy. He, he's a trainer now. He's a coach and stuff. You know, and Floyd and Mark they get along pretty good. You know, Floyd and Mark is, you know, um. That was one of his guys, man. That was one of Floyd's guys, you know what I mean? You know, um, of course, Vinny Panzienza. Got to have respect on that. That guy's going into the Boxing Hall of Fame, but y'all don't know. Definitely going into the Boxing Hall of Fame. Uh, Two-divisional, two-time world champion. Uh, you know, um, talk about the legendary Vinny Panzienza. Beat Roberto Duran twice. Twice. Face Roberto Duran twice, I think. I think it's twice. Face the great Roy Jones Jr. Roy Jones Jr. is another legendary fighter. Y'all must have forgot. I would love to see Roy Jones Jr. against Anderson Silva. That's the fight I want to see. You know, Jake Paul's talking about facing Anderson Silva. You're not ready for Anderson Silva, bro. Anderson Silva will eat you alive. Anderson Silva will beat your ass. You're not ready for Anderson Silva. Okay? You're not ready for Anderson Silva. You're not ready for, uh, uh, what my boy name? Uh, uh, Hasim Rahman, you're not ready for him, okay? You should stick to the YouTube thing, okay? You know what? I'm done talking about this fool. I didn't talk about the YouTube stuff over the weekend with KSI and those guys because, man, fuck them guys. You know, no disrespect to KSI, but, like, that's sideshow boxing. I, I'm not interested in sideshow boxing, man. So, I mean, I'm interested in real boxing. And if you're doing exhibitions, real boxing exhibitions, you know? Not really interesting. I mean, I, I watch. I watch. A, 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 I might watch an exhibition or two, but at the end of the day, real exhibitions. You know, fighters, boxers facing boxers. You know, I, I'm not. I'm, y'all know I'm a boxing purist, right? Y'all know if it's something's an attraction, it's cool. It's just that I'm not gonna be watching it. You know what I mean? I can respect the game. I can respect the hustle. Once you're not disrespecting the sport. And what I mean by disrespecting the sport is like what the, that shit that uh, Dougie Fisher pulled recently there. That was disrespectful. Never do that to a boxer. You never do that to a boxer, man. That's disrespectful. And, and not just any boxer. Motherfucking lineal undisputed champion. You do not do that to boxers. That's why you see me getting on so angry. Because... Imagine this asshole doing that to Tyson Fury, or this asshole doing that to Alexander Usyk, or God forbid, Vasily Lomachenko, telling him, oh, we'll bring back the belt. That's disrespectful, y'all. That is fucking disrespectful. You have not done anything to qualify yourself to be able to say such a reckless statement. The great Mauricio Suleiman would never do shit like that. He would never pull that shit off. Hell no. You gotta have respect in this sport. For the accomplishments of fighters, man. You gotta have a, you're not just a fan, you represent a, a organized okay, that was one. Let me show you talk about another disrespectful thing. 
It's just, it was just goddamn or disrespectful. It was ugly. Jake Paul coming into the sport of boxing to try and face Hasim Rockman. Talking about he easy work. Okay? That's disrespectful. Why? Because you're disrespecting his amateur background. His immense experience in boxing. I don't care if he came from a knockout. You're supposed to have all the respect in the world. Be like, man, I respect it. No, you trash talking this guy. And then after that, you're talking about he ducked you? That's disrespectful, man. Get the fuck out of the sport. Go go do your YouTube boxing thing. That's a sideshow. We cool with that. People are enthusiastic about it. That. That's a fucking sideshow. That's not boxing. That's not real boxing. That's better. It's better than what I'm doing. I ain't doing shit. But I'm just saying. And I have respect for those guys. Okay? Except for Jake Paul. I don't have no respect for him. Because he's trying to he was trying to say he was going into the boxing game. But he fuck you. You 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 wasn't going into no damn boxing game. Shut up. You better than a lot of those YouTube boxers, but you ain't coming into no boxing. You're not gonna step into the ring and a real, real boxer. So get the fuck out of here. When it comes to uh 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 uh, uh Respect, you got to respect the sport. You can like who, whoever you want. You can like whoever you want. But you, as a boxing purist and as a boxing fan, you better goddamn respect this sport. Conor McGregor came in a disrespect the sport talking about, oh, he could just go across in the boxing and dominate the best boxer in the world. Okay, fine. So they made money off of him. But at the end of the day, a lot of people respect boxing now. When Holly Holm beat the brakes off of Ronda Rousey, people started respecting boxing. Alexander Usyk just recently beat Anthony Joshua. Yeah, split decision win. He kind of eked it out. But he still, to me, he still had that little oomph ahead of Joshua, you know, and he was doing his thing. You know what I mean? He seemed to be the guy in control of the fight. Shout out to Joshua for, for making a go at it. A decent go. If you had done a little bit more, you'd have won that fight, especially in the middle rounds. He might even hurt Rusik even more, you know, and convincingly win a couple more rounds. And now you would you have got the fight. But that's what makes Usyk Usyk. That's what makes a champion a champion. You know what I mean? Usyk's a difficult fight for anybody. Period. Another guy who's a difficult fight for everybody, he don't get to shine. Michael Hunter. Remember that name. You know, guys pull out fights and guys, guys don't face that guy every day. You know why? Because they know they can get their ass beat. That's what it is. Michael Hunter is a problem. Just letting y'all know. But you need to stay busy though. Um, I love to see Michael Hunter you sick too. To be honest with you. Um, but back to what I was saying. So, yeah, I would love to see Paul 